In just a few days, most of central Indiana will see the total solar eclipse, but some towns like Kokomo happen to be on what's called the edge of totality. Our Matt Standridge visited the Holcomb Observatory at Butler to find out what that means. It's when the street lights come on, the birds start squawking and roosting. <laughs> Insects might start chirping. And then you get to the final minute, the final 30 seconds. It is amazing going into totality. Totality is the sweet spot of the solar eclipse. Indiana is lucky to have a band of totality run across the state. But for people living on the edge of totality, it's all or almost nothing. If you're on the edge, it will be just like just after, after sunset. That edge goes through the heart of Kokomo, a city divided. If you move a mile in, you might get 30 seconds of totality. You move five miles in, you might get a minute and a half of totality. Here are a few landmarks. Kokomo Speedway, no totality. Indiana University Kokomo, totality. Downtown Kokomo, no totality. Kokomo High School, Barely totality. We're at Kokomo High School. We are right on the edge of totality for the April 8th solar eclipse. So along this line, it's gonna get darker and you'll probably see that diamond ring effect, but we're not really gonna get totality. In fact, you may not ever be able to take your glasses off right here. If you go farther north, you're definitely not getting totality, but if you go just barely south or east of the high school, you will. People living on the eclipse edge don't have to go far into the path for a good show. For you, would it be worth traveling south? Yeah, absolutely. I'm in Tippin County anyway, so a little further south would be perfectly fine for me. The edge comes right through Kokomo, which means you may get a second or two. Yep. But we're telling folks, if you can just drive a mile or two south, you'll get about a minute of totality. Well, I might have to go see some of my friends down in Tipton then. Hey, good excuse <laughs> to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good excuse. But why can a little drive south make such a big difference? If you just go in a bit further, you get a much longer core length, hence a much longer total eclipse. If you go just that few miles, you'll get another minute versus a few seconds. So just don't get a mile, try to get five miles. In Kokomo, Matt Standridge, 13 News. Hmm. And Kokomo is not alone. In fact, there are a number of towns that are considered on the edge of totality. Frankfurt, one of them right on the edge of totality, just like Kokomo. So if you would like to really look into these numbers and see how long totality will last in your town, we have put that all together and have a full list on our website. All you have to do is go to WTHR.com. Also, you can find out how to join us on the Eclipse Day next Monday. You can go out to the State Fairgrounds. We're going to have Chuck Lofton out there and Lindsay Monroe. They're going have a lot of activities. We're going to have live music, food, and games. And also, if you want to stay home, we are going to have special eclipse coverage right here on Channel 13. That will start at 2 o'clock on the afternoon on Mondays. And